Baptiste Diega. I work at the CIML in Marseille. So I'm sure all of you have been one day in front of a chocolate box trying to pick the good chocolate and try to avoid the chocolate that has the liquor in it because you don't want that taste. And you know there are someone in the box with the liquor and you don't want those ones. And this is a situation that natural killer cells face every day and constantly in your body. Natural killer cells are uh, white blood cells and they are able to kill other cells. And they patrol your body all the time, try to identify the cells that are going wrong, either because they become tumor or they're infected, try to identify the cells, remove the cells and spare the healthy cells. So this is a challenging question, how to spare the healthy cells and only kill the uh, target cells. So the anti cells are like this. Anki cells have two types of receptors at the surface. You, can, you should imagine two hands. One hand gives inhibitory signals, a negative signal, and one hand gives positive signal. And every time it encounters a, a healthy cell, the healthy cell can shake both hands. So every time it hits a cell, it shakes both hands. So it's safe. The NK cell doesn't get activated. But now, if the NK cell encounters, so you, you have no killing. If the NK cell, with its two hands, encounters a tumor cell or infected cell, this cell can only present one hand. So the NK cell can only shake one hand, and this activates the NK cell, and it kills the cell in front of it. So this system, you would say with this system, it's really easy. This should ensure tolerance, but there are two underlying requirements. The first underlying requirement is that Healthy, all healthy cells in your, in, the, in your body express two hands. And this, and this is the case, we know it's the case. And the second requirement is that all NK cells also have two hands. And unfortunately, this is not the case. There is actually, there are some NK cells that ex only express one hand and the positive hand. So the, 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 the idea would be that, obviously you say, okay, if they can only shake positive hands, they will be activated and will damage, and this could lead to autoimmune diseases. This is what happened, for instance, in diabetes, when T cells, so other white blood cells, start to kill healthy cells, so the, the, the hepatic cells that produce insulin. So this would be really uh, detrimental for you. And in fact, those cells are tolerant. They do not kill uh, the other cells in your, in your individual, in your body. And this has been my question for, uh, the uh, first part of my PhD. And um, what we found is that if you put those cells in front of tumor cells in vitro, they actually don't respond. So it looks like the cells, only the cells that can be inhibited, so only the cells that have two hands, are given the license to kill. <laughs> but if you only have one hand, it means that you can be potentially detrimental to the host. You're not given uh, the right to kill. And this difference, uh, we've studied it with uh, ultra, uh, very high resolution microscopy. I won't go into details, but you can imagine it like this. If you look at the organization of the hands, it's the, the organization of the hands, the positive hands at the membrane that will make the difference. You have the cell surface. It could, it could look like this. <laughs> On the cells that can't kill, the, the, the positive hand is located in very specific areas. In those areas, you can have all the signaling pathway that allows you to signal positively. If you are a cell that cannot kill, it looks like this. It means actually that the cells that have only one hand, the, the hand positive hand is, is somewhere in the back or badly con in, in the bad configuration and does not signal. So this explains the difference. And, and so why do we study a, a, a situation such a fundamental question? Is that once you know how those NK cells are educated to make the difference between the a good chocolate and the liquid chocolate, between the tumor and the healthy cell, you can play with this. And um, because some tumors still express two hands. They should only express one, but they still express two hands because the, some viruses try to hijack it and try to make it, uh, to try to avoid the NK cell. So they still express two hands and you want to target those cells. And uh, a pharmaceutical company has now uh, started a project to try to <coughs> use this system and one way to do it to make those cells being recognized is to say okay now we block 
try to block the, uh, the dinucleolin, we try to block the inhibitory signal by putting a drug and saying, okay, you, you, you show two hands, but now we, sh we, we, we block your negative hand, you only have positive hands, and now the NK cell will kill you, and you will have the drug that uh, allows you to kill uh, the tumor cell. So, I really want to, I've tried doing my PhD to, to know how to teach an NK cell to make the difference between a good and a bad chocolate. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we are sure that the new drug will not actually enable the natural killer cell to kill any of the cells. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really good question. And that, that's why I had this. So, oh, the, the killer. Oh, sorry. It's a problem. In fact, what is important is I, I made it a bit simple, but you have those two hands, but what is important is the balance between those two hands. So sometimes you will have, if you, if you have two hands, two positive hands and two negative hands, the balance will be zero, no activation. But the tumor cells not only reduce the number of inhibitory uh, hands, but also increase the number of activating cell receptors. And you can see here that those cells, the tumor cells, they still express more positive hands. So you just have to block this signal in those cells and you will leave and you induce the killing. If you, of course, this is, this is done by the company and this has been uh, tested in vitro and in vivo and models. You try to infuse this antibody and, and see if, if you induce autoimmunity. You don't because healthy cells do not express high level of these positive hands. But it's a very important issue, obviously. <laughs>